I am now here <laughs> in my garden. As you can see here, I have strainer and I have cocoa peat. You need to invest in a cage and feed. That's the heavy investment you have to do doing chicken business. The total chicken I sold and my total sales, so there's missing 13,000 pesos. Um, I think there are 10 siblings in my father's side. And that father's side, I have a lot of cousins as well. So it's a big family. So first, we put them in the hot water. And then after that, so this is the washing machine plucker that my dad made. So these chickens are 34 days. Hey guys, how are you? In this vlog, I am going to share my new business, the progress, my opinions, suggestions, and everything that I can share with you guys while doing this. I am now here <laughs> in my garden. As you can see here, I have strainer and I have cocoa peat, this one. This is uh, what I'm going to strain. The only thing that I need is this and not this did you see the difference so while doing this i am going to give narration of my chicken business what happened to my chicken business okay i am going to start from the start <laughs> i mean from the beginning see that's it i have 200 plus two for free chicks that I bought for 60 pesos each. So 200 pieces times 60 pesos each equals 12,000 pesos. From day one to four, we feed them with Chick Booster. Total feed was 25 kilograms, but Chick Booster should be feed for one week. In day four to day 11, total feed one bag for 50 kilograms of BSC, broiler starter crumble, price was 2110 pesos day 11 to day 15 total feed one bag for 50 kilograms and after 15 days we changed feed to integra 2000 price was 1910 pesos day 15 to day 20 total feed was one bag for 50 kilograms of integra 2000 because they are growing each bag only lasts three days for 200 chicks so day 20 to day 24 we feed them with integra 2000 price was 1910 pesos day 24 to day 30 we feed them with integra 25 price was 1830 day 30 to day 38 we feed them with Integra 3000. Price was 1,735 pesos. This is our feed until harvesting. For the feeding, it's not supposed to be Integra because Integra are for roosters. It's hard to narrate while doing this. You need to feed the broiler with broiler feed like starter, grower, finisher. Unfortunately, we don't have those kind of feed here in my area. So our alternative feed was Integra. But in my opinion, they don't grow much with Integra feeds. It's better to use feeds that made for broilers. We also give them vitamins every day per box of 12 sachet cost 180 pesos that's one of the expenses you have to provide for your chicken so first we put them in the hot water and then after that we put here so this is the washing machine plucker that my dad made smoking So guys, we partially harvest today for 20 pieces of chickens because there's order. So these chickens are 34 days and 
Most of these are one and a half kilos and then we are going to remove the head, the foot, and the neck and then after that it's gonna be way one kilo the advantage with the chicken business they grow so fast so after 30 days you can butcher them for food and for sale and everyone eats chicken the disadvantages are a lot the chickens are prone to sickness they are prone to chicken mites as well the feeds are expensive and they eat a lot you also need a big chicken cage away from neighborhood. Their poop was kind of smelly. And maybe more advantages and disadvantages that I haven't mentioned. After starting this business, I realized it's a lot of work from start to finish. When they're growing every day, every week, we need a new cage because their cage is getting smaller when their size is getting bigger they need a big space or else they step on or jump each other that causes them cuts from their feet so every week we transfer some chicken to a new cage you need to invest in a cage and feed that's the heavy investment you have to do doing chicken business but native chickens are different though they poop everywhere here in the house I wish I have a large farmland with different animals because the field likes animals so much to make the story short I am not going to have another time of chicken business because it was failed this time the feeding was so expensive to maintain so we decided to butcher them early than the days it's supposed to be like we started to butcher them in their 35 days and up the total chicken I sold was 143 and the total sales was 25,000 pesos and the remaining 59 chickens six are dead and then i spent for dad's birthday 25 chickens and the rest 28 we eat it especially during the time when we have visitors there are some days we consume them for food like daily food you know my expenses for the feedings vitamins and the capital 12,000 pesos total all in all was 38,000 pesos and my total sales is only 25,000 pesos so there's missing 13,000 pesos but I think it's okay because I butcher some of them and eat them I butchered them for dad's birthday so I think it's okay because of course you have to spend something in the birthday while that time I didn't spend anything because I have chickens yeah I think that's fine so that my decision is so I'm not gonna have broiler chickens again for business maybe I am going to have chickens but it's native chickens if broiler chickens I'm going to probably raise at least 20 pieces for birthdays upcoming birthdays so that we have something to eat for birthdays because if you're going to buy chickens at the market it's going to be expensive it's better that you raise your own chickens if you're going to have them in a birthday because you need a lot in birthdays here in philippines especially here in my town we celebrate birthdays a lot of food there's lechon there's chicken joy there's hot dogs anything spaghetti pancit you know that's how it is it's like a thanksgiving in your country i guess because most of you guys don't celebrate birthdays you guys probably celebrate birthdays by yourselves or with family but not including the neighbors here we have neighbors visitors friends like a lot of people are gonna come and of course i have a lot of relatives from my father's side and my mother's side. My mother's side have a few cousins and aunties. My mother have seven siblings. That seven siblings, I have a lot of cousins. In my father's side, um, I think there are 10 siblings in my father's side. And that father's side, I have a lot of cousins as well. So it's a big family. That's why 
when there's a celebration, we need a lot of food because they come and eat during birthdays. I'll probably buy pig for Sophia's birthday and my birthday and mom's birthday. All in all, we need three pigs. <laughs> because one for me one for Sophia and one for mom and then we are going to raise that pig I would like to say thank you so much again to these generous people thank you so much to Brian Fitzjohn GS Spice Jim Bob or David Tim Webby John Jones one time Brian Simpson and my new YouTube member F16 pilot Thank you so much to all of you guys and thank you so much to my subscribers, my viewers, and my Patreon supporters. Thank you. So this is how we feed and drink water for Tam Tam because Tam Tam is not feeling good. And when she eat, uh, when he eats, like her neck's gonna roll like that. So he can't eat properly without um, assistance. Pero ang pagkaon. Eat them! Eat! Look how uh, her neck will go so much. Hi, piggies! Ah, so this is the two pigs we have. My mom wants to have like a mommy pig. So one of these pigs will be a mommy pig. And that is what it looks like right now. It's not yet finished because there's no roof. So hopefully soon we are going to put roof in this area. So if you guys enjoy, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And don't forget to click the notification bell to keep you updated. Thank you and bye everyone. When I saw you, I would lose control. Made me feel like there was no tomorrow. Should have told you that you're beautiful But the days pass and now it's so long ago